and welcome back. I'm Alicia Powell, aka Miss Fashion. I'm just getting into Miami. Welcome, this is Abaja Show and I'm Alicia Powell, aka Miss Basha. And we're hanging out in our brand new studio in Miami, Florida. I'm so excited because, you know, my next guest is my first female Latin star, Patricia De Leon. Ah, delightful, beautiful. No, should I say absolutely beautiful? It's indeed an honor to hang out with my Caribbean sister, Latin American, former Miss Panama. I don't know if I'm doing her a profile too much justice, because if you see this, I couldn't even remember all the awards, all the movies. Um, when, when they told me about Patricia, I heard things like Lincoln Heights and things I can't really pronounce, but I'm gonna try. So Papa Star for Carosan Apasionado. Ooh! <laughs> From Univision. I promise you all that Miss Baja is gonna start to do to speak in Spanish. Um, this whole move to Miami has to make me bilingual. Welcome, Patricia. Thank you, thank you so much, Miss Baja. Thank I'm you. I'm really, really happy to be here. I am so happy. I'm like, wow, female Latin star. I made it. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome to Miami. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. But you're leaving me, and we're gonna talk some more about that That's later. Right. But I'm so, so happy to have you here. Um, I have a surprise to my viewers. We're going to go to break. But Patricia taught me how to say, we lead the race, we set the pace, top celebrities, Basha style in Espanol. So here we go. Are you ready? Nosotros guiamos la raza. A nuestro paso y con el estilo de Basha. We'll be right back. <laughs> you did too. Coming up next on the so, Baja Show. What? I was just a tourist. You know, a I, tourist? I, yeah. Oh, be careful how you pronounce that word in the US. We've set our customers free. Free from long lines and closing times. Free to roam, free to live, and free to bank whenever and wherever you please. Thanks to our online and mobile banking solutions, you can enjoy banking that fits your lifestyle, not the other way around. Ah, freedom. It's so refreshing, isn't it? First citizens, we put you first. Hi, my name is Diane Ramu. I'm a breast cancer survivor. My experience with Bajo is the most wonderful experience I had since my diagnosis. Alicia Powell, she gave us a lot of inspiration. There she taught us about the importance of nutrition, exercise, being positive, and how to cope with our disease. Thanks, I will always thanks, thank Alicia Powell for bringing, having this foundation for breast cancer survivors like myself and other women. Thank you, Alicia. Mommy, test it, test it! Oh my, there's no preservatives. It's real fruits. It's bees homemade ice cream. Get your scoop today and get your taste buds buzzing. You like it? Yeah. Hi, I'm Alicia Powell, aka Miss Basha, and join me at the second annual Caribbean Leading Ladies 2012 for the Hilton Barbados on January 27th and 28th. It will be a conference like no other. You want to be a leading lady? You want to learn how to find happiness? You want to learn how to live your best life? Join us on the 27th and 28th of January 2012 at the Hilton Barbados. For more info, go to BajaTV.com or BajaSurvivorNetwork.com. This is your chance to live your best decade. Our theme this year is larger than life, and we'll be doing it 
Elijah Stein. See you there. The conference has also helped me to realize that I am truly happy and that where I am now is where God meant me to be. They say it's going to come next year and I'm already looking forward to that. Okay, how do we say welcome back in Spanish? Ya regresamos. Oh, Father. <laughs> you want to find his killer? Look around you. The streets, the gangs, the fear. That's what killed my Ramon. Can you catch that? Lock that up in prison? You can change things. Who oh, good. Hurry up and change them then. Before the streets take my effort from me too. Welcome back. This is Abaja Show and I'm Alicia Powell hanging out with former Miss Panama and by no means is she defined by that anymore but I just thought I'd mention it. But so opera star Patricia D'Elia, welcome to the Abaja Show. Thank you, thank you. And let me tell you all the things I admire about you off the top of my head. Yes, you're beautiful. Okay, stop it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so are you. Thank you. Uh -huh. But um, I, I remember when your, your profile came across my desk and they're like, we're going to do her. I'm like, oh my God, I need to go to the gym more because I'm already there. But more importantly, I, I have deep admiration for um, professional Latin stars who are bilingual. I think it's just so amazing to move in and out fluently, Spanish, English. And most of all, I think what I admire about you is that you've been able to cross over. You do... Spanish movies, you've done Lincoln Heights, you, you, you've done the LA thing, you've done it. You, you know, you have to give us a study for cup because you've done it. Yeah. Congrats to you. Thank and you. that's amazing. And you're my first uh, Latin American female star because I did Tito Puente Jr. recently mm -hmm. and I have a lot of other Latin um, stars that will be joining us. Um, for us, it's very important to move to Miami and merge our cultures. No, and I'm very happy you guys did because, I mean, Miami is such a, is a place where every culture from every la place in Latin America, there's Colombians, there's Panamanians, I'm, I'm Venezuelan. from Panama, Venezuelan, yeah. there's the people from Chile, Cubans. Cubans, I mean, it's like, yeah, almost a United Nations. I mean, you even find people <laughs> from, from Canada, I mean, everywhere in the world. It's, so, a, it's, it's a transient city. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy to be here. And um, like you said, it, it's been a challenge for me to, um, I, I've, I'm from Panama, like I said before. Yeah. I arrived to LA, uh, mm -hmm. not knowing the so language. You went to LA first. LA first, exactly. And what year was this? And uh, excuse me. What year was this? What year? Oh, let's say twelve years ago. Right. To now okay. talk about it. Yeah, you were fifteen. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, I understand. Oh, no, you're so smart. You were, yeah, yeah, you were sixteen. There we I go. Exactly. In fact, you were exactly. 15 going on 16. Exactly. Yeah. Good girl. You were just uh, so 12 years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, I arrived there not knowing anybody and mm -hmm. not speaking English. So all I knew was Spanish. So I had to learn little by little so in order for me to. Made you leave your country and then and you have that pout that I like. Uh, you know, everybody <laughs> tells me that. And, and when we were in the makeup room, I was like, Oh my God, somebody else actually does that. When I'm doing my makeup or I'm looking myself in the mirror, I'm like. <laughs> she has the same problems, you know, that's so cool, you know? So, yeah, what it's like they say, uh, we're sisters from a different mother. We will be uh, friends. Yeah. You know, like, I'm, I'm already talking Spanish, are you going to give me the hook? There back, you so, go, you know? I'm going to teach you Spanish. Yeah, I Hopefully, to... you learn before I leave. I need to be the first talk show host to do bilingual interviews. And I've started today because nosotros guiamos la raza. Anyway, esto paso y con el... There we go. You see, I'm you're doing great. So, hola. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's go back to LA though. You, you know, 12 years ago, you left your hometown of Panama to chase your dreams in LA. How easy was that? Or well, it was really, was really, that? really hard. It was really hard because um, I moved there by myself, not knowing, uh, not having family. And for me, family is so important. So yes. yeah, it was, it was really tough, especially because um, not knowing the culture, the language. But um, but I'm here. I mean, it's it was it was tough. No, but we're not gonna skirt past the, the past twelve meaningful years. 
What happened then? Because there's so many young women like you from the Caribbean, Latin American, English speaking Caribbean where I'm from, who were chasing after a dream. And there to see a beautiful woman like you with 12 years of, you know, it must have been a long journey. And it could not have been easy. No young woman leaves her family behind, go into LA, and then just become a big star. And I am so attracted to your story because I have just made a huge move to, to Miami. And for me, that is, you know, what you've done. I'm so attracted to that and, 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 and interested to know how it was because I have a family moving with and it's hard for me. Yeah, yeah but, no, I can imagine. So you were younger. Yeah, you well, the thing is, I've, I've, I've been in the business since I was 13 years old. Mm -hmm. I was modeling since I was very young. Mm -hmm. um, and... Uh, you must have made a lot of mistakes and to go into a country by yourself. Yeah. Who did you call when you had no money? Uh, no, I just had to, like, you know, I, I as a matter of fact, I, I'll just tell you a little bit of how, where I come from. Um, I did news back home. Yeah. Uh, I went to law school because of my father. I come from a very strict, uh, my parents are extremely strict. Yeah. Um, and um, I, I actually, because I had the television background from home, mm -hmm. when I got to LA, I was able to work for a company mm -hmm. that used to have uh, production, like independent productions, yeah. uh, for, uh, and they will sell the shows to like Telemundo or Univision. Mm -hmm. So I was able to do that and make money. To right. so actually you, have you a never, living. You, know, you don't have one of those stories where you have to live in your car, you didn't know where the rent was coming no, from. No, I, I didn't have to live in my car, um, but um, like, let's say I did try to. I'll tell you a story. Mm -hmm. which I, this is probably going to be the first time I'll talk to, about this. That's what bad you Television. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got, you got me to say something. Um, I got a job mm -hmm. at, uh, at a restaurant. I did have papers yeah. to work. In the United States, I was a tourist. So you were what? I was just a tourist. You know, a tourist. I, I, yeah. Oh, be careful how you pronounce that word in the U.S. Yes, a tourist. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. So more and I was like, oh my God. Yeah. So, so um, there was a friend of mine who actually told me, listen, you know, I can get your job to to be a hostess at a, at a restaurant, very high end restaurant that it's like very undercover because there's a lot of huge celebrity cycles to this place. I mean, like we're talking about Nicolas Cage, Mike Myers. Yeah. And uh, one day, um, I worked there probably for like two and a half weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, that long, it, that's a lot of tenure. <laughs> I know. And uh, I just couldn't take it anymore because yeah. people were extremely rude. And that's when I realized mm -hmm. that I'm like, you know what, this, that, like working at a restaurant, either being a server or something that has to do with service, it's, it's extremely hard, hard yeah. because you have to deal with people, you know, that sometimes, you know, they're not nice. Mm -hmm. And it's, that's when you stop yourself at a restaurant or something and you're like, hold on a second. I need to, you know, I've been in that place, yeah. you know, check yourself before you decide to say something that yeah. is not nice. Um, and I remember there was this actress and the reason this is the reason why I left. Mm -hmm. There was this actress, I could barely speak English, and there was this actress, huge, huge, one of the biggest actress ever, mm -hmm. who I actually, it was, she was like my idol. Mm -hmm. I, I always admire her. Mm -hmm. And she walked in with her husband, and she said, I don't know what, she was under the influence of something, and she said, mm -hmm. she said, oh, I'm so-and-so. And I said, yeah, I understand, but your name must be under somebody else's name, because they don't put their names down, like, mm -hmm. you know how they are, so, an assistant calls or something. Yeah. So <clears throat> I said, well, I understand, but you must be, you know, under somebody else. And then she said her name again, but she screamed at me. And that's when I realized that I'm like, okay, this is not gonna work out. So I asked the manager to please help her out. And he said, well, she's sitting with Mike Myers and, yeah. you know, his wife. Yeah. I'm like, how will I know that? Mm -hmm. Anyways, she she went, I sat her down very nicely. And you apologize. They, yeah, I apologize. <laughs> and then they sat there, they had dinner, they had dessert. And on the way out, instead of her going towards the exit uh, door, she comes around and she said to me something not nice at all. Yeah. She said, I can't believe there's so many, you know, like dumb people working here. But this close to a point that I can actually like... Like, it was just not nice. Yeah, and I remember I was so vulnerable because I was so homesick. I was really mm -hmm. new in town. And I said, um, 
I start crying. I remember, and I called my mother that night, and uh, she said, "Mom," she said to me, "Don't worry." You know, what goes around comes around, and there'll be a moment that you're going to bump into that woman. And you a did? Circums in a different circumstance. circumstance. And you and did? Yes, I did. At a casting. At an audition for a huge movie with Helen Mirren. And um, and I remember so there was somebody taking a very long time in the room. Mm -hmm. And I'm much taller than her. Than mm -hmm. her. As she's coming out, I'm walking in, and she bumped into me, and she goes. She remembered you? No, she didn't remember me, obviously. I mean, yeah. But I said, she goes, uh, I'm so sorry. I said, yeah, you must be. You said that to her? Yeah. It, it still and, hurt. And, up to, I no, mean, well, it to this day, me. it hurts or and something. I said, well, I mean, it's something that it will, you know, things that happen yeah. to this, those kind of things that happen to you that. But it just, makes you stronger. Oh, it makes you, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Because look where you are now. Absolutely. Well, I don't know if she has as much people like you on Twitter. <laughs> 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 yeah. Funny. No. So, but you know, those are things that you have to go through. Yeah. It, it makes it makes it, it just makes you, you know. Yeah. And I'm I, I don't re regret absolutely anything that I've done in my life. I, I'm yeah. the kind of person that I I just make decisions mm -hmm. without looking back and saying, oh well, mm -hmm. should I've done it this way? Should I've done it that way? Yeah. So, yeah. I mean. So, would you say that it was difficult for you to break into mainstream America? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely accent, learning the language, uh, people are totally different. Yeah. The, I don't know, it's, I, I come from Panama, mm. it's very warm. People mm -hmm. are very warm. Yeah. I mean, I think the that you Caribbean have, have, people you have, exactly, are very warm. Caribbean, period. Yeah. We just have this like touchiness, you know, yeah. we just care for each other. And I feel like people in LA, and I'm not, you know, I'm not generalizing because no, no, I can no. say everybody, but especially the people in the industry, you become very selfish. Well, the industry is a, you know, dog eat dog kind of. Exactly. Every man to his own order. Exactly. So, um, yeah, so you're basically flying solo. I mean, yeah. don't, don't expect anybody to give you a hand or anything. Um, so, yeah. Did that change who you are deep down inside? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It hasn't, it hasn't changed me, the fact that I still am a humble person, you know, I, um, I talk to my mother every day, yeah. you know what I mean, it, family is still very important, yeah. I mean, uh, but it hasn't, ch it has changed me the way, I was very naive when I got to LA, yeah. you know, I, I was, I was a kid. Yeah, you were 15, so, yeah, you know? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't laugh. <laughs> you were 15. So, um, <laughs> So, but yeah, I have, I've, I've gotten this like, you know, now I'm very aware, yeah. very careful, you know. So, but you know, I, I, like I said, I'm, this is who I am yeah. and I so, have amazing friends. So you go um, home to Panama a lot, sorry. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going uh, mm -hmm. in on the 14th. For I'm Christmas? Going first, I'm going for Christmas as yeah. well. After 12 years, yeah. I'm going back home for wow. Christmas after 12 years. But That's I'm going to, um, to open, uh, one of the things that I'm doing actually, I'm working with this company mm -hmm. who um, makes uh, a, like a shoe company. Okay. I'm their image for their company. Yeah, and, you can uh, call their name. It's called Makers. Makers, okay. Um, and the reason why I decided to, to work with them is because I'm working with this organization, it's called PETA, mm -hmm. to protect the animals. Yes, um, I read that as well, okay. yeah. But tell me it's, more about it's, it. It's people for the, uh, uh, people for the ethic, ethical treatment of animals yeah so um so the reason why i decided to work with with this company is because mm -hmm. they use uh, uh, uh synthetic mat uh, materials mm -hmm. yeah. instead of using leather or stuff mm -hmm. like that mm -hmm. um and uh I'm, we're going to open the first uh store in mm -hmm. panama i'm smiling shoes. because i remember us talking in the back and you were saying that you know you've done all kinds of interviews but you've done interviews with your dogs and so and i'm like why didn't you bring the dog here man <laughs> <laughs> you know? i don't know about that it's yeah. very tough yeah you love animals i love animals yeah. yeah i have two dogs at home they're my kids i don't have kids, you don't yet. Have kids. are you married no 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 not married yet no are you ready to get married i am you are? I am. Well, I'm ready to find the man to get married. To, right. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah. yeah. It works that way. Hmm? It works that way. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I want to make sure that I do But are you time. ready to slow down? You have such a high profile career. You're doing soaps for Univision and, you know, all these things that you're doing in LA. You know, can you, do you have time to make for that guy? Does he have time? 
Yeah. <laughs> he will have to make do the sacrificing because you, no, you don't want your career to stop. I, yeah. I really think it's a compromise. Um, yeah. Listen, I, I I think that my ultimate goal is yeah. to actually have a family. I mean, able to really? raise my kids. Yeah. yeah I How many kids would you like? Two at least. Two at least. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, cool, absolutely. cool, cool. We're a family. I have two, uh, a sister and a brother, so we're three. Yeah. Of course, three will be perfect, but, yeah. you know. Yeah. Well. When we come back, we're going to talk some more about what it was like growing up in Panama and what you're looking forward to right now because your career is literally, to me, still taking off. You've, you've achieved a lot, but, you know, you had to run out on us a while ago, so I know that you're just getting started. Good, 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 good for you. And you're going to give me a hookup with Miami because you seem to know more about Miami than I do. <laughs> this is the Baja Show. We lead the race. We set the pace. Top celebrities. Baja style, and I'm going to tell you in Spanish. Nosotros guiamos la raza. A nuestro paso y con el estilo. Estilo. Estilo de Basia. I have to sharpen up a little bit. We'll be right back. <laughs> Deborah, on behalf of First Citizens, I'd like to present you with this check that will go towards your next PET CT scan. Thank you so much, First Citizens. This will go a long way. Thank, Thank you. you too. Hi, I'm Deborah Adamson, and I was diagnosed with breast cancer of this year. And upon diagnosis, you know, I was thrown into a whole different world. I knew that I need to support, and the Badger Survivor Network has been there for me. Thanks to Miss Badger, you know, she has been very supportive. The ladies in the group has been very supportive. And I was advised to do a PET CT scan, and I would really love to say thanks to First Citizens for allowing me the opportunity to have this done. Thanks again to the Baja Survivor Network. Thank you. Imara Engineering, in association with Edwards & Partners, is a world-class group of designers and engineers based in Miami with tremendous focus on the Caribbean. We are proud to contribute our services in meeting and exceeding the needs of our esteemed clientele. The principals, Dr. Jacqueline James Little and Mr. Colin Edwards, are Caribbean natives with a worldly perspective. Our work speaks volumes. a.k.a. Ms. Basha, and join me at the second annual Caribbean Leading Ladies 2012 at the Hilton Barbados on January 27th and 28th. It will be a conference like no other. You want to be a leading lady? You want to learn how to find happiness? You want to learn how to live your best life? Join us on the 27th and 28th of January 2012 at the Hilton Barbados. For more info, go to BajaTV.com or BajaSurvivorNetwork.com. This is your chance to live your best decade. Our theme this year is larger than life, and we'll be doing it Baja style. See you there. The conference has also helped me to realize that I am truly happy, and that where I am now is where God meant me to be. They say it's going to come next year, and I'm already looking forward to that. You want money too, huh? That's why you're here. I told you the first time, I had no money. Okay? Go away! Go away! Hi, welcome back. This is the Baja Show. And I have the beautiful, fabulous, you know that's my favorite word, uh, Patricia De Leon, who is one of the most influential actresses in LA apparently and also in Miami. Um, she's done films like Lincoln Heights and could we pronounce Carazon Apasionado? Did I pass? Yeah. Oh my god, yes. You're doing you're doing better so as you, you pronounce as yes. you as well, you say it. But you know the deal by next year, summer. Bilingual. Okay. No, you're gonna sing in Spanish by the time no, I come I back. I can't sing. Says who? 
I can't sing it. That's why I'm a queen of talk in the Caribbean. I can't <laughs> sing. <laughs> I can write very well and I'm extremely articulate. Okay, and then you had two be. things to do in Miami. You learn to sing Spanish. and then you learn how to sing in Spanish. Okay, try. Okay. okay. I'll try. I'll hook me up a football with somebody and we can oh. make it happen. <laughs> 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 you know, and I mean, make it happen. When we were great, you, you were saying that, you, you know, you are uh, committed to the organizations protecting animal rights mm -hmm. and so on. Mm -hmm. And you, you signed this big deal with a shoe company. And I know you have an upcoming event this week. That's right, that's right. It's on Sunday. It's uh, Amigos for Kids and uh, there's a group of... It's uh, basically we raise, um, people bring toys and, and shoes and stuff for the kids because Christmas is coming. So um, so a, a group of actors would go there, like I'm do donating shoes with the company that I'm working with. Um, with PETA, I did, uh, one of the things that we're really working hard on it is uh, the campaign against bullfighting. Which is what really I'm working uh, with PETA right now. We started with the campaign uh, for vegetarians because I'm a vegetarian. It's for Thanksgiving, uh, I'm half vegetarian. I've eliminated chicken and pork. The other half, I'm still. You're, you're halfway. You're halfway. Now we have to like hurry up and know, just cross the other side. I tried. I tried. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The thing is, um, so yeah, I, I just feel like in the United States or Americans per se, they mm -hmm. have more of. Um, knowledge of mm -hmm. like you know what is to be a vegetarian yes. why you know what i mean it's more like a choice and it's easier to, to go organic here and to be a vegetarian here because you, you, you have so much more options yeah you do you mind. do so um and then i think that it was for me it was important that i give that choice of you know mm -hmm. to the latin market because yes. that's that's what that, i think that's that's why one of the things why I like to do what I do, because I can I can use my name, I can use you know me being in the entertainment business, I'm, I'm you know an actor to actually do positive things for my community. And I, so I realized, so to, you. thank you. I actually decided to do this campaign for you know basically giving a choice mm -hmm. to the Latin market, you know why it will be good to be a vegetarian. Yeah, well and the reason why I did that is because um, I used to be a very sick kid. Yeah. yeah, and then I was about to ask you that. What was it like growing up in Panama? Um, well, besides besides being you know sick a lot, it was um, it was good. I mean, it was great. I mean, I, I have a brother and a sister, mm -hmm. and my dad is a rice farmer. A rice farmer. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And my mom was uh, she worked you know with like she was an accountant. Mm -hmm. uh, for the farm, mm -hmm. so you know, very humble, very yeah. down to earth. Yeah. Um, so they must be really proud of all your accomplishments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they have. I mean, I, I basically I had a horse. We used to go to the farm and be yeah. with chickens and porks yeah. and you know. So yeah. that's why you're, you're vegetarian now. You just had enough of that when you were shy. <laughs> You went to the opposite direction, literally. Yeah. Well, no. I mean, and and literally, be, become a be, becoming a vegetarian just changed my life. I mean, I didn't know why I was getting so sick, and it's just and finally I realized that changing my diet and eliminating everything that had to do with animal meat. Well, I have eliminated dairy for sure, um, and that was after breast cancer for me. But um, you know, which brought me to my as well. So. So, cancer, so cancer survivor. Yeah. Awesome. Congrats. Congrats. Thank you very much. Good for you. Thank you very much. So that has changed my diet. So I'm halfway there. Um, I need to be full vegetarian. What? I need fish. I mean, don't you eat fish? No. 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 Good for you. No, I ain't giving up salmon or shrimp or crab. We'll see. Or we'll lobster. See. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know. So nothing with a face you eat. <laughs> nothing with eyes. With eyes. Oh. Yeah, because I used to say nothing that moves, yeah. but then, nothing you know, moves. herbs move, yeah. so... Nothing with eyes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Nothing with eyes. What's your favorite childhood memory growing up in Canada? <sighs> Besides chickens. Chickens. Horses. Horses. Uh, Christmas. Christmas. Christmas with my family. I haven't spent Christmas with my family in a while. Especially not in Panama. It's been so 12 years now. <laughs> Um, I've seen my mom a lot. My dad doesn't really like much uh, the United States, yes. uh, even though he was raised here. Um, yeah, in Texas. But um, 
Well, yeah, I, I remember a lot of uh, trips to the beach. I love the water. That's one of the reasons why you I love Miami. Yeah, you said that earlier. Yes. Yeah, you love the water. Yeah. What sign are you supposed to I'm like Capricorn. Capricorn. Oh, you have a birthday coming up. Yeah. Me. January yeah. the 2nd. Yeah. You're, no, you're a Capricorn? I'm <laughs> oh, okay. I'm when is your birthday? The 18th of December. Oh, it's coming. Oh, my God. Yeah, right around the corner. Yeah. Wow. Congrats. Thank you, brother. Let's talk about some of those magazine covers that came across my desk. Oof. I <laughs> Should I start sorting? I'm not even sure I know anybody who's done more. I count that. You, have, you did over 24 magazine covers. Yeah. Um, you did the Spanish version of Vogue. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, just something small inside. <laughs> <laughs> Something's really small yes. inside. Okay, boy, as well. But, you know, what's interesting for me is that earlier you mentioned that you came from strict parents. And then, as you said that, I visualize all those covers, which I'm sure they're going to show in the edit of the show. And I was like, how did mommy and daddy feel about this? Oh my God. Are you a Catholic? Yes, I am. See. Si, yeah, si. and my mom is like, is, a is, is, she's very, like, she goes to church every Sunday. Yes, like me. Well, but this is what happened. <laughs> this is what happened. When I, I remember when I did um, the cover of Maxim, mm -hmm. which, I mean, I'm the kind of person that I do, I believe that just women body, men body, it's just perfection. Mm -hmm. And it's beautiful, it's to admire. And um, I, I feel good about my body. I, I, don't, I, you know, I have nothing that I feel ashamed about. So I never see, shown anything else. I always very careful with what people are gonna think, yeah. my parents, my family, everything. Yeah. And I remember my mom calls me and said to me, your dad is extremely upset. We just got into a fight, la 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 la. And I said, what happened? She goes, well, somebody called your dad and said that you came out in a porn magazine. But in my, in my country, yeah. this is a that thing. That is a porn magazine that, uh, Like a magazine where you're like, you know, uh, let's say, you're always covered. Yeah. Like, but the thing is, well, because the boobs were covered in the other areas. Everything yeah. was covered, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, yeah, you see the bodies, it was very, I was very careful. Mm -hmm. So, but because my my culture back home is very close-minded. You just went in the opposite direction from everything you grew up knowing. You don't eat meat and you, you had a rice farm, you had chickens and so on, and you want no meat. You had a strict cut like a brigand, and most of those covers are very revealing. But let me tell you, I gotta give it to you. You're fabulous, you have a fabulous body. Thank and you. that really helped. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> any, any help we can get. But I mean, speaking of bodies, um, it is the opinion of many women where I come from who are now themselves resorting to the night that a lot of Latin American beauties are obsessed with plastic surgery. Mm -hmm. Have you done anything? Have you gone under the knife for anything that you would admit? Yes, yeah. I have. I'm not gonna say what. Well, I don't want to know. Um, listen, I am the kind of person that I believe that mm -hmm. if you are not happy with one, of, you know, something yeah. about your body, and you you feel like you want to fix it, absolutely. Yeah. Now, the problem is when it becomes excessive. Yeah. When you're past the line, yeah. where but where when, where? What would you say is past the line? Um. When it's, when it's in the right place, and it looks good, and it's just, you know what I'm saying? Then then you become to do it, and then redo it, and then do it again, and redo okay. it, so to a line, point that you're you never happy about if yourself. If you're doing the same thing over, and over, and over. One thing is correcting. Yeah. The other thing is just being, obsessed you know, obsessed with, yeah. with yourself. So it's like and you went to fix your, your, your nose five times, come on. Exactly. If you went to fix it, it needs to and be And it's fixed obviously, it. it's something uh, psychologically. It's just, you know, yeah. the problem is not, yeah. what, you know. You must go and fix like I did. You're gonna, and then enjoy it. And say, yes, nice. That's it. You, you know, it's like you go to the and doctor, you're sick, you go, you fix something, and that's it. And you I know? have no choice but to fix I will. The process. <laughs> you know, yeah. but but yeah, and thank God for plastic surgery. Thank God for reconstructive plastic yeah, surgery. Exactly. So because then, exactly. Know. So that's my answer. Yeah. To your question. But thanks, admitting that you fix something, baby. There's <laughs> a lot of women like I gotta do that. I gotta do that. Hello. No, thank no, God no. for Botox. That is the best thing to me that happened to Hollywood or anybody with a public, 
you know, try it. It's good. It like I said, you know, if you if if there's something, if it's something to help and enhance and you know your career and and your self esteem as well, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then sure, absolutely, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. I agree with you. So. You know that you can't come on the show and not dance. Can you dance? Can you sing? No. <laughs> I told you before that I can talk, and that's why I'm the queen of talk. Can are you, you dance? Gonna, are you gonna dance with me? Thunder. Have you met my Nicaraguan DJ? Thunder. This is me. Where is he? What is he gonna play for? What do wow. you like to dance? I'm gonna have to take you to. Stuff. I want. Since you're new in Miami, yeah. I'm gonna have to take That's you to some to some clubs. Wait, clubs? I don't know about clubs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're gonna have to go to Miami to clubs in Miami. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Why? Yeah. Why? Miami is all about going dancing, have fun, be with friends. Can, yeah, I like being with friends, but I'm. I think my days. You don't like clubbing. to. You don't like to go dancing. Your day. What did you say? My days for clubbing is all over. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. You're wrong. I'm a mother of two. What am I so what? coming for? So what? I've, I've seen grandmas here. Oh, there go. stop it. That's ridiculous. <laughs> the whole image of that in my head is making me feel the garment. <laughs> so are you going to dance with me? Yeah. Wait, you, you like that song? Thunder. Pump up the volume. Let's do it. What we do with a mambo, a salsa? What? I don't know. Or are we just doing club dance? Oh, I want to see your dance. You don't. Yeah. I want to see yours. I want to see your salsa you. dance. I can't do nothing. What do you mean you can't do nothing? You can talk. I can talk. <laughs> I can write as well. But. Caribbean, because this is easier than the dance I was doing with Baby Sham. Yeah, there we go, girl. <laughs> Give me some info again. Excellent. Uh, okay, let's go around. Oh You're pushing it now, eh? <laughs> what else? You should do ballet or something. <laughs> you should do ballet. Oh, you need to put some salsa. Salsa, salsa. So beautiful Caribbean woman, we want to shake it, baby. Who's your favorite fashion musician, artist? I like um, Gilberto. Gilberto Santa Rosa. Gilberto. 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 There we go. Gilberto. Class number two. Yeah. Gilberto Santa Rosa. You have him, Santa? Gilberto. Where is he from? Where is he from? Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. And Santa is Nicaraguan. Who? 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 Woo. No, she gets one. There you go. And I could do it. That's the problem. I have to dance in Latin. It goes she like this. It goes like this. Woo. Woo. Okay. You pull, I pull up. This one back. And then you put it, you put it in front of mine. The, yeah, yeah. That. And then you have that. There we go. There you go. Wow! You see, that's the problem. I was dancing last time. Oh my God! Woo! I can dance. This magic can dance. This is the magic that we've been waiting for. I can dance. Woo! Woo! Okay. No. Okay. Coming up next on the Baja Show. Do, I wanted to be a news anchor and a reporter. Yeah. And that's all I wanted to. do. Imar Engineering, in association with Edwards & Partners, is a world-class group of designers and engineers based in Miami with tremendous focus on the Caribbean. We are proud to contribute our services in meeting and exceeding the needs of our esteemed clientele. The principals Dr. Jacqueline James Little and Mr. Colin Edwards are Caribbean natives with a worldly perspective. Our work speaks volumes.
Hi, my name is Diana Ramu. I'm a breast cancer survivor. My experience with Bajo is the most wonderful experience I had since my diagnosis. Alicia Powell, she gave us a lot of inspiration. There she taught us about the importance of nutrition, exercise, being positive, and how to cope with our disease. Thanks, I will always thanks, thank Alicia Powell for bringing, having this foundation for breast cancer survivors like myself and other women. Thank you, Alicia. Mommy, test the test it. Oh my, there's no preservatives. It's real fruits. It's bees homemade ice cream. Get your scoop today and get your taste buds buzzing. You like it? Yeah. Ashiana, Ashiana. Powell aka Ms. Basha and join me at the second annual Caribbean Leading Ladies 2012 for the Hilton Barbados on January 27th and 28th. It will be a conference like no other. You want to be a leading lady? You want to learn how to find happiness? You want to learn how to live your best life? Join us on the 27th and 28th of January 2012 at the Hilton Barbados. For more info, go to BajaTV.com or BajaSurvivorNetwork.com. This is your chance to live your best decade. Our theme this year is larger than life. And we'll be doing it Baja style. See you there. The conference has also helped me to realize that I am truly happy and that where I am now is where God meant me to be. They say it's going to come next year and I'm already looking forward to that. Like, girl, you were right. In Spanish, now you'll be in saying Spanish, that in Spanish. In Spanish. <laughs> Take care of business. Come, mi casa. Come on, baby. Oh. Hi, I'm Billy Cole. I'm the head coach. I'm Corazon. Nice hands. Very, very strong. You could be a hitter. Oh, si, senor. Let's kick some rich white pyre, my cousin from Minimum Witch, with Side Eye. Hi, welcome back. And I'm hanging out with Patricia <laughs> DeLeon. And if you missed us, Miss Baisha danced the Latin music. I really dance. I mean, I have moves. The Latin is coming <laughs> out of me. That was a problem all along. I was trying to tell you all I could dance. <laughs> welcome back. Patricia, let's talk about your Twitter, because I remember when, when your name came up for next set of, for these set of interviews in Miami, I went onto your Twitter and I was like, wow. In, in Jamaica, they have a saying, they say, wow, she famous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you've been so wild, you have a big following. Is, is it, do you think that your following comprises not only of Latin American um, fans, but also of, of English speaking fans, American fans, because you, your base is LA. You know? Yeah, but it's actually, um, you'll be surprised, there's a lot of people from Serbia that follows me because the, the soaps mm -hmm. here, uh, they translate them in like, I don't know, what, 50, 60, 80 yeah. a different, uh, t they send them to different countries yeah. and they translate them in like Russian, in mm -hmm. Italian, yeah. in like uh, English, and they're, they're really, I mean, they're Sp Spanish-speaking soaps. So, so this is all you wanted to ever do act? No, I never wanted to act. Yeah, I wanted to do the news. the news. I wanted to do, I wanted to be a news anchor and a reporter. Yeah. And that's all I wanted to do because back home there's not uh, mm -hmm. movies mm -hmm. or soaps or anything. 
And um, it literally fell in my lap. I, I, there's nothing that I want. I, I didn't want to be an actress. It never really passed. But you my enjoy head. doing it now. Do you? I love it. Yeah. It's that's all I know how to do. I mean, like, even I though I went to law this. school, I didn't go to school to do this. And then I oh, well, I went. Up. It's like me. I went to law school, and mm. I, it's not. You know, wow. mm, I, I couldn't be that though. I couldn't do that at all. You can do that. But I'm sure it came in handy because in your position, you have a lot of contracts to sign. Absolutely. So you Absolutely. have, you know. Yeah, but I still have to. I still have an amazing team. I mean, I have my manager. Yeah. I have uh, I have managers, publicists, yeah. agents, yeah. Uh, lawyers. But so. just, I, I have a few of those people, but I still read my contracts. <laughs> no, me too. No, me too. Everything passed through me. But yeah, but yeah I still have an amazing group of people That's that right. supports me that that you know uh, advise me 24 7 absolutely yeah. yeah so how can we find you on facebook and twitter okay my twitter is patricia de leon b as a boy mm -hmm. um and facebook patricia de leon yeah yeah well, um, I'm sure you're going to get a lot of Caribbean guys. Guys, she's single, you know. Yeah, maybe I'm going to go to the Caribbean to find my husband. Well, you did say that you want to you, you wanna come to Carnival. Exactly. I'm going to, to Trinidad. Trinidad Carnival. Carnival. Yeah. Absolutely. So you I promise. Yeah, I I'm, promise. Uh, we're going to go there. I have people who will take you around. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see, she already found she she no, found me already. I will, I will, no, no, no. I'll, just certain things I don't do anymore. Like I don't play carnival, but I, I go to the parties. Okay. But I don't jump in the street with the costume. I re, you would you would not get. Oh, to I'm gonna get you to do that. No, if you we won't. Go, if we go to no, carnival, no, my yeah. My husband will pay you a million dollars if you get me to do that. Okay, where's your husband? <laughs> the most handsome man somewhere in the building. <laughs> You know, but you know, there's something I wanted to ask you. Um, and for me, I'm experiencing a transition in my life as a Caribbean woman coming into Miami. And I am very, very motivated and captivated by merging our, our region and, and, and looking out for Caribbean stars, both Latin American and English speaking. And because I feel that there's a need for that and, and we have to look out for each other. Mm -hmm. I also feel that it's harder for women from our region and men to break, to make that breakthrough. I mean, would you say that it's hard for an America, um, a Latin American and a Caribbean male or female public figure or person to make it in this culture? Is it harder for us? It was. I think it's changing. Things are definitely changing. Uh, mm -hmm. I think that it's it's they. I think. The culture, people, Amer United States are understanding that mm -hmm. we're very strong. We're people that come here to mm -hmm. try to make it. Oh, we're trying to hear. Yeah. We're not trying to, um, you know, we're trying to hear to, to just give a better life and yeah. a better future to, for our kids. Yeah. Um, that we're just working, hardworking mm -hmm. people, yeah. and uh, we're just trying to, you know, make this this country a better place to live. Yeah. And like like I said, things. You know, have changed because yes, it was really, really, very, well, very difficult like twelve Irish. years ago. Yeah. Now, as you see, in television and, and social film, media and all these things are public. You can see now. more Latin people, Caribbeans, yeah. Yeah. you know, breaking through. Yeah. Uh, and I think that that yeah, things yeah. are definitely changing. Well, I have to say that we were born in a nice time. We're, we're very fortunate and very blessed yeah. to have been born at that time. You know, which Absolutely. was just the other day, really. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so that's good to hear. So I'm happy that you are on Twitter because I want to follow you and I hope that you follow the Basha show. Yeah. You know, um, tell me about some of the favorites that you've worked with in Hollywood. Um, some I worked with Burt Reynolds, mm -hmm. uh, which was a, an amazing experience. Uh, probably the, my first big role in a big film. Mm -hmm. uh, Deal Hughley, an amazing group of guys. Mm -hmm. uh, it was hard for me at the beginning with Burt because I was very nervous. Yeah. I was very nervous uh, to work with somebody so big, yeah. and it was my first big meaty role. You what know? role? What movie was that? It's called Cloud Nine. Cloud Nine. Yeah, yeah, and then I just uh, I finished the second season of uh, working with Ray Romano. Yeah, uh, a That's show right. called I Men of a Certain that. Age. Men of a Certain Age. Yeah, oh my God. yeah. I play his love interest in that oh show. My God. So it was nice kiss? his. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no. no, 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 we didn't get to that part yet. Okay. So, 
But uh, <laughs> he's definitely a nice man, a gentleman, nice man. humble, uh, well, amazing. Well, you tell him for me because I enjoy everybody loves me. Yeah, 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 he's an amazing guy. And uh, I, I finished a uh, pilot uh, for ABC with mm -hmm. Eric Roberts. Mm -hmm. Very nice to work with as well. Awesome. Yeah, very, very nice. So, yeah, I mean, I think well, that... Well, you I, are very nice to work with. I'm, so I'm sure that's what accounts for a lot of your success. You are very you. nice to, Thank you. to hang out with and to work with. I mean, you gave us no trouble. You know, sometimes you, you deal with stuff. You who are not cooperative. It's a real world, and you've been wonderful. So I know you'll be back over and over. Anything you have to promote, call me. <laughs> 305. 305. I'm not a member of the 305. <laughs> I yeah. will. Yes. I will. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. And I'm going to have to invite you to Panama. Yeah, I would love to come to Panama. Okay, then, then you got I'm a serious, deal. Sir. You don't, got a deal. Don't be You're happy. taking me to Trinidad, don't be with me to either. Carnival you, in Trinidad. Do you want to go to Carnival next year? Yeah, that's a Are deal. Are you serious? That's Where's a the manager? deal. Where's the you manager? Got a, you got a deal. You got a deal. Where's the manager? That's the manager. <laughs> Stay with me. So, fellas, if you want to hook up, you know, you got to call the. 868. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got a deal. I am playing the mask, but we, we hook you up and make sure you have a nice time. And then you're coming to Panama with me. But what's what's the best time of year to go to Panama? As soon as you learn Spanish, I'm taking you. Oh gosh, yes. That would make sense, huh? Yeah. <laughs> that would be some time in the summer then. Absolutely. Okay, summer. Rosetta Stone, call me, give me a contract. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be fun, you know? So, I mean, we have a lot to do together, but you are running off to LA, you know. Well, I'll be coming back to Miami for another project, hopefully. Okay. Yeah. By when? What month? You want me to give you yes, a day and a time and Carnival. everything? Carnival is the end of February. Well, it's fine. I can fly from LA. Okay. Right? Yeah. I can fly from LA. You email me and we work it out. There we go. And we meet here and then we fly there. Yeah? That sounds like a deal. You got a deal, Missy. You sound like you're taking me. And as soon as you reach LA and no, no, now you forget no, about me. us. You'll see. In Miami you'll and, see. Yeah? You'll see. You'll see. You want that husband, don't you? Caribbean man. <laughs> 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 you got that right. <laughs> oh, yeah, you girl. Let's keep it in the Caribbean. <laughs> there you go. All right, all right, all right. This is Abaja Show, and I'm hanging out with the most beautiful human being inside oh. now, Patricia De Leon. We'll be right back. Let's give them in Spanish. Here we go. I'm practicing my Spanish because she's my new diction coach. Let's go first game. la raza. A nuestro paso y con el estilo de basia. We'll be right back. Woo! A First Citizen's credit card opens up a life of rewarding experiences, making it easier to grasp opportunities providing comfort at each step of life's journey, celebrating success with an outpouring of gratitude, treating those who are precious to you to the absolute finest, and rewarding you with bonus points and miles to enjoy your fill of the good life. Come in, call or visit us online for the world of credit cards that put you first. Hi, my name is Diana Ramu. I'm a breast cancer survivor. My experience with Baja is the most wonderful experience I had since my diagnosis. Alicia Powell, she gave us a lot of inspiration. There she taught us about the importance of nutrition, exercise, being positive, and how to cope with our disease. Thanks. I will always thanks, thank Alicia Powell for bringing, having this foundation for breast cancer survivors like myself and other women. Thank you, Alicia. AKA Ms. Basha, and join me at the second annual Caribbean Leading Ladies 2012 for the Hilton Barbados on January 27th and 28th. It will be a conference like no other. You want to be a leading lady? You want to learn how to find happiness? 
You want to learn how to live your best life? Join us on the 27th and 28th of January 2012 at the Hilton Barbados. For more info, go to BashaTV.com or BashaSurvivorNetwork.com. This is your chance to live your best decade. Our theme this year is larger than life, and we'll be doing it Baja style. See you there. The conference has also helped me to realize that I am truly happy and that where I am now is where God meant me to be. This is going to come next year and I'm already looking forward to that. What is this green stuff? Iris says bottle green too. Okay, back to bed. Now. I gave him some cough syrup spaz. It helps make you sleep better so we can have adult time. I am calling you sis when you breathe a word of this. I'll have my father, who's a super lawyer, call immigration faster than you can say daddy's girl. Hi, welcome back. This is a Baja show. And it was so nice we're going to have to do it twice. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Who is off to LA and she's going to leave me in Miami. But I am not too sad because she's promised. Go to Trinidad with me, and I'm going to go to Panama with her after I start speaking Spanish, which don't doubt me, it's going to be soon. Okay, I hope so. Yeah. Did you make that deal already with Rosetta yeah. Stone so much? <laughs> <laughs> so Rosetta Stone, look out for Miss Basha. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I just want to tell you thank you. I, I had a great time. Me too, thank it's, you. It's just, it's beyond doing an interview. It's, it's about making a connection. It's about just... Chemistry. 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 And you wore one of my favorite colors, and I wore one of your favorite uh, that's colors. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's so, right. You know, it's all good. Um, I, I also want to wish you all the best. Thank you. I know this is just the beginning, even though it started 12 years ago. You just have a lot in you still. Um, and I just, you know, as you were saying earlier, we're kind of born at the right time. Things are taking off now. That's um, right, that's yeah. right. And I want to wish you luck too. Miss Basha it. in Miami. I need it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Thank you so much. Miami is a hard city in, in many ways, you know. Um, but this just feels right. There we go. You have any okay. advice for us? Keep it positive. Yeah. Keep it positive, mm -hmm. yeah. Keep yeah. it positive, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's going to do, you're going to do very, very good, so. Thank I'm you. pretty sure. And I'll be coming back. That's right. Yeah, you're going to call me in Spanish and you're going to say, Hola. Te estoy esperando en Miami. Si. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> I assume that, that's all she's, she knows right Adios. now. Adios. <laughs> <laughs> Señorita. <laughs> I know some. I, I understand Spanish a lot better than I speak Spanish. So I got good grades in Spanish in high school. Well, you're in the greatest place. I mean, everybody speaks I Spanish. It. I love it. Everybody really speaks do. Spanish in Miami. You know, so. a lot of my West Indian friends are like, why are you going to Miami to live? Come to Pines. I'm like, I go to, I'm like, I want to go with my Latin people because that's where I can dance because yeah. I can't dance a soca. Okay. I can dance so. a Latin. So we're going to go clubbing then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find you a husband. Listen, after this show airs, the amount of emails I'm going to get from Caribbean men, Friend, let me we'll tell see. you something. But guys, no money, no love. Okay? <laughs> right. Let's get that straight. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> we ain't messing with no. All right. <laughs> you know what? That's right. So, don't bright yourself and call for no date and you ain't got the money. <laughs> you know? It's all about Benjamin. <laughs> you have to <laughs> look at this trick, you know? Anyway. On that note, I want to also invite you to go to Patricia's website where you see clips of her acting and so on. I went to your website, it was amazing. Remind us of the name. PatriciaDeLeon.com Simple. And you can check me out if you want to know what's on my mind because you know I talk my mind, but I also write my mind on Basha Diaries every week. So go to BashaTV.com. And for the latest in entertainment news, go to BashaMagazine.com. That's the only magazine cover you have not been on, so we're going to talk. I'm going to have my people call your people. Okay. We need a hot chick. You're going to wear a little more clothes, though, on my cover, but, you know. <laughs> Mommy will be happy and daddy and puppy will be happy. There you go. They're going to love you. <laughs> Good Catholic girl. I'm just teasing. And I want to remind you that 
If you want to join our Breast Cancer Network, you can go to bashersurvivornetwork.com and download our application form and become a member and benefit from all the wonderful things that we're doing in Basha. Also, if you are interested in securing a space at Ricardo Powell Academy for Autism, go to our website, ricardopowellacademy.com and you can learn more about the work that we're doing in the area of autism. You know, we can't finish this show without me giving you a present. So, I, my team present and I... Present and everything. Yeah, you have to hook up. My team and I went shopping for you yesterday. Oh, wow. And Thanks to the team. <laughs> I know that you like what we got. And then we also brought you... First, we brought you um, this wonderful package to represent for our breast cancer cause. You know, a little knapsack to go to the gym. Thank you. Because you, I'm sure you go to the gym. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. And then... I think you'd like this. It don't match your clothing, but it's not about, it's not clothing, but it's, it could complement your accessories on your underwear. No, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's underwear. <Yeah. laughs> you know. I think should I pull know. it out? You should if you want to show it from TV. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think you have used to that. Oh my God, I love that. It's your jewelry, boxes. jewelry boxes. Lovely. Isn't Thank you wonderful? so much. Thank you. I love yeah. because I have tons of little jewelry and yeah. Thank you. I figure a girl like you can rock that. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you so much. You Thank you guys. Welcome. Thank you. You're most welcome. Thank you. We just want to spread the love. I mean it's important. Love makes the world go around. Absolutely. It's, to me, you speak Espanol and English and I speak English. Jamaican, Bajan and Trini, right? <laughs> All English. And the common language and the common thread we have in this world is love. That's the language that we all speak. Absolutely. And I believe that, you know, love can do many things. Love can change somebody's mind. It can change your attitude. It can heal. Absolutely. It can form friendship. I believe in love at first sight. And it doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It can be a friendship. friendship. <clears throat> you know, sometimes... Somebody can come into your life in 24 hours or 24 minutes and turn your life around. Absolutely. That's true. Yeah. That's true. But it's on the basis of, I love her. I love him. Yeah. I love that place. Yeah. Yeah. I love Miami and that's why I'm here. I love Miami. Yeah. I love Miami. Yeah. And that's why I'm here. I love the Caribbean and that's why I'm promoting the Caribbean here. And most of all, I love the fact that our parts for us. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. No, no, you got a friend now. Baja for life. Baja for life. That's right, baby. There we go. So, before we go, I don't want to get too sappy here. You know, I have to leave you with you, you know, the most wonderful quote. And today, this is what I felt. Because this morning when I got up, it was really tough. Mm -hmm. And everything to you, when I came in here and I met some special people. And I want to tell you that happiness is the key to success. Success is not the key to happiness. I'm Alicia Powell, AKA The Basha. And you've been watching The Basha Show. I hope you'll continue to support this wonderful Caribbean product. I hope you'll continue to send us all your fabulous tweets, your fabulous messages on Facebook, because we couldn't do this without you. So until next week, God bless you all, Basha for life. We are Let's dance! <laughs> come on, turn up! Woo! Oh, come on, let's go! Woo! That's the song that you wanted it. Yeah. Um, a typical day at the Ricardo Powell Academy starts with each child signing themselves in in a self-registration process. 
This gives them the opportunity to focus their minds that they're in a new place, as well as see which of their friends and which members of staff are here. They then get a transition card to go to their individual schedules, which they use throughout the day to maneuver the space with the most amount of independence that they can. So a child might start with some puzzle activities or listening to music, after which they are rewarded with a favorite activity like a sensory toy or playing together in the ball pool. Our goal for each child who attends the Ricardo Powell Academy is to give that child the maximum amount of social skills that they can acquire to give them the opportunity to function in inclusive environments and to have the necessary social interaction skills to experience and understand their world. This is done through low teacher to student ratios which do not exceed three to one. It's done through a visual structured environment and patient, dedicated, passionate staff who take a very gentle developmental approach to dealing with students. Parenting a child with special needs and in particular autism can prove very expensive for parents because there are lots of different therapies that go into helping this child develop the social skills necessary to navigate the world. Hence the reason creating and forging strong community links is key to our functioning at the Ricardo Powell Academy. We offer many scholarships to children whose parents cannot otherwise afford this type of education through the generous donations of corporate sponsors.